Hi everyone, it's Patrick McKay of FairUseTube.org. Welcome to my third and final video tutorial on how to use YouTube's copyright dispute process. This video will cover how to file a formal DMCA counter notice. This is to be used in two circumstances. The first is if your video was initially taken down by a DMCA notice, and the second is if you've already gone through the entire um, content ID dispute process, and that ended with the content owner um, filing a formal DMCA notice and having your video blocked completely and a strike issued against your account. That is the case that has happened here. Uh, the video I've been doing my other tutorials on, the copyright owner has now come back and responded to my appeal by issuing a formal DMCA claim. So now I'm gonna file a counter notice and show you how to do that. So here I am in my video manager page, click on copyright notices. And the video I want to dispute is listed right here at the top. So I want to go here and click submit counter notification. Now it brings up a little warning page um, where it has a bunch of dire warnings. Um, basically, um, the thing to keep in mind here is that the copyright owner will have to actually sue you to have your video taken down again after this point. So um, if, as I am, you're going to be disputing the copyright claim based on fair use, you want to make sure that you have a pretty strong case for fair use. Um, I do, so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom click that I have read this statement, and this statement, and this statement, and then it finally brings you to the actual um, counter notice form. So I'm going to fill in my name, address, phone number, Okay, now that I've filled out my contact information, the next thing I need to do is fill out this box here. Uh, this box is really important because it is basically your justification to YouTube for why you are filing this counter notice. And as you see here, it's a required field, and if you leave this blank, YouTube might actually reject your counter notice and you might not be able to file another one. So it's critical that you fill this in with a brief explanation of, in my case, why I believe my video is fair use. And you have to be brief because they only give you 200 characters to do it. So I wrote up a little statement here, which I'm going to cut and paste in now. I wrote that the use of the music in this video qualifies as fair use under U.S. copyright law because it is one, non-commercial, two, transformative in nature, and three, does not negatively affect the original song. I'm also going to cut and paste that into the message to the copyright holder box. That's optional, but it's nice to let them know um, why you believe your video is fair use and why you're filing a counter notice against them. Um, might discourage them from filing a lawsuit against you in the future if they do realize you have uh, good reasons for filing your counter notice and you're not just doing it to get away with copyright infringement, basically. So now that I've filled in those boxes, come down here, click these three check boxes, um, swear under penalty of perjury that I have a good faith belief that the material was removed due to mistake or misidentification, consent to jurisdiction of the federal district court for the district in which my address is located, and I understand the results of this form, or that abuse of this form results in the termination of my YouTube account. And I'm not abusing this. I do believe that I have a good case for fair use. So I'm going to go ahead and um, type my name as my signature and click Submit. Now I get this message here. Um, remember, the counter notification procedure takes 10 business days to complete once initiated, so be patient. So now if I go back to my copyright notices page, you see the video is still here at the top. It's still blocked for the time being, but now it says counter notification pending. And what this means is that the copyright holder now has 10 days to basically file a lawsuit against me seeking an injunction, which I highly doubt they're going to do. And if they do not respond to YouTube within that time, telling them that they actually have filed a lawsuit and providing proof uh, in the form of court documents, then my video will be restored and um, then there will be absolutely no copyright claim on it whatsoever. It'll be reavailable on mobile devices. There will, the strike on my account will be gone and everything will be good. So we will see how this goes. In the meantime, hope you found this video useful.